In today's video, I'm going to share the most important criteria for successful editing. My name is Austin Minges, and I'm the owner of Minges Post in Austin, Texas. When I'm not editing, I'm passionate about teaching the next generation of editors. In order to illustrate the concept, I'd like to share some clips from the 3D animated short film Pigeon Impossible that was released in 2009. I was the editor, and I was also on the story team. By all metrics, this was a really successful project. It's racked up over 14 million views on YouTube, and it even inspired the 3D animated feature film Spies in Disguise, starring Will Smith and Tom Holland. If someone asked me what made this a successful editing project for you, here's what I'd say. Pigeon Impossible was successful because it made the audience feel how I intended them to feel throughout the film. They feel curious surprised, excited, nervous, and amused, and they feel those emotions when writer-director Lucas Martel, the story team, and myself intended them to feel them. In one word, the most important criteria for successful editing is emotion. I wish I could take credit for this, but I learned this concept from master film editor Walter Murch in his book, In the Blink of an Eye. His six criteria for editing changed the trajectory of my career. I think when editors start out, they think their job is mainly to preserve continuity. For instance, say an actor lifted their arm in a shot. Well, your job is to make sure the actor's arm is in the same position in the next shot, so you don't distract the audience with things jumping around where they're not supposed to be. While continuity is certainly an aspect of editing, according to Merch, it's actually the least important thing, and emotion is at the top of the list. Walter Murch's six criteria in order of importance are emotion, story, rhythm, eye trace, two-dimensional plane of screen, and three-dimensional space of action, also called continuity. Ever since I read that list in Murch's book, I've been trying to keep the audience's emotions at the forefront of every editing decision I make. One of the great things about this list is it applies to all types of editing projects from corporate videos to trailers to films. On your next project, try this. While you're editing, answer these two questions. What do I want my audience to feel here? And two, does my editing effectively contribute to that? If you ask that question often and answer it honestly, it will really help you improve your edits. But beyond asking yourself these questions, I recommend having an audience. Find a few trusted friends and collaborators that you can show your edits to throughout the rough cut stage. Ask them how each scene is making them feel and see if it aligns with your intention. If it doesn't, adjust from there and try again. I guarantee this will be a game changer for your edits. 20 years in and the thing I work on most in my edits is emotion. It sounds like a simple concept, but it's not easy. In future videos, I will share some of the different levers we can pull as editors to achieve desired emotions, namely with story, rhythm, and action. But I wanted to start with the big picture and go from there. I'll leave a link below to the short film Pigeon Impossible if you want to check it out, and I wanted to thank Lucas Martel for allowing me to use clips from his film in my video. I'll also leave a link to Walter Murch's book, In the Blink of an Eye, which I recommend to all editors. If you got value out of this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. 